Hello, this is Laptop Media, and today, we will show you how to open the Asus ROG Zephyrus G14 G401 and what's inside of it. This guy has a total of 14 Phillips head screws holding its bottom panel in place. If we have to be honest, even most 17-inch gaming laptops have less, but it's good to see that Asus is thinking about rigidity here. Moreover, the higher the number of screws, the fewer clips they need, which means it would be easier to remove the bottom panel, itself. Another interesting solution here concerns the cooling. Instead of going for two or three heat pipes, Asus actually has gone all the way of designing an entirely new cooling system for this notebook. We can see a total of five heat pipes. Two of them are shared between the processor and the graphics card, while there is one more for each of them. Not only that, but you can see an additional heat pipe, cooling the memory modules and the VRMs, and is also connected to one of the four heat sinks. In terms of upgradability, there is one RAM SOTOM slot and a single M.2 PCIe X4 drive. However, there is a caveat with the memory. Some models come with 8GB of soldered DDR4 RAM, while others are equipped with 16GB. Additionally, ASUS says that the maximum supported memory is 32GB of DDR4, working at 3200MHz. However, you can configure it with a total of 40 gigabytes, if you have the 8 gigabytes soldered and you put another 32 gigabytes in the slot. However, this would result in only 16 gigabytes working in dual channel. On the other side, when you pair the 16 gigabytes of soldered memory with a 16 gigabytes module, you'll get the full 32 gigabytes in dual channel mode, marginally increasing the performance. Lastly, there is the 76 watt hours battery, which is something impressive to see on a 14 inch gaming laptop. If you'd like to see more disassembly videos of the latest notebooks we would highly appreciate if you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.